all right what's up guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me for another video today's gonna be part two of the top 10 baits for beginners we're gonna go over a few of them here first one I'm gonna be throwing is this spinner bait here um, I believe this is a 3 8 ounce um, got one one willow blade and one Colorado blade on there reason I'm throwing this right now is there has been some a little bit of a breeze coming up towards this bank this is actually the same bait I got my first bass of the year on in the exact same spot spinner bait though is a great bait for a beginner because you can cover a lot of water really fast with it um, you can kind of slow it down around cover you can speed it up and burn it back right on right underneath the surface just a great all-around search bait right now I'm throwing this in a white color um, because this water is super dirty but we do have really clear skies out um, so you want to get something that's gonna stand out and hopefully catch the eye of a fish or two I like to throw a spinner bait on a 6.4 6.5 to 1 reel because I can either speed it up if I want to burn it back or I can just slow it down a little bit it's kind of a good middle of the range that's not a fish is it no it's kind of a good middle of the road gear ratio right now I'm throwing this bigger spinner bait on a six foot nine medium heavy rod uh, but if I throw any smaller spinner baits like if I'm down at the Ohio River throwing a little quarter ounce one I like to throw that on a medium action rod. Uh, as far as line goes for a spinner bait, I typically throw mine on 12 pound fluorocarbon. Um, it's strong enough. I use um, Seaguar and Vizex. It's strong enough at 12 that you're not going to break it. If you're throwing it in real heavy cover, though, you might want to step it up to 15. If you're pitching it up onto a bank around some heavy cover. All right guys, next bait on the list that we're gonna talk about is a little square bill here. Um, I'm gonna be throwing this KVD 1.5. I'm throwing this also on 12 pound test. 12 pound. I'm throwing this also on 12 pound test, 12 pound Seaguar and Vizex. Um, I'm throwing this right now on this older Browning. It's a six foot six medium heavy. I really like this for square bills um, either 1.5s or the 1.0s um, I also will throw these on a medium action rod a seven foot medium action um, but I just really like the way this rod works for this rod real combo works for little square bills obviously color selection I'm going with something dark because of this super dirty water you're e either gonna want something really bright and vibrant or something really dark. I either have some crap on here. Yeah. The key to throwing crankbaits that you absolutely need to at least try to have happen is you want that crankbait to be coming in contact with the bottom when you're working it back. That's going to get the best action on that crankbait. That's going to entice the most fish to bite. Square bill though is going to be one of the easiest, most basic lures, especially for a beginner, to take out, tie on, and be able to catch some fish. Another thing you can do uh, when you're throwing a little square bill, or really any kind of crankbait, is kind of same thing with the spinner bait. Vary your retrieve a little bit, so don't just throw it out and just reel it back at the same speed. Kind of. You could speed it up, slow it down, you can pause it. If you can, get it to knock into little stuff in the water. If you're throwing it around like some trees, like some cypress knees or something, if you can get it to bounce off of those, a lot of times the bass will go after that bait. If you pause it as soon as it starts back up, or if you're throwing it around cover, a lot of times if it bounces off the cover, uh, maybe a branch or something like that, then that's when the uh, bass will go after it. Same thing with if you're dragging it along the bottom. If you're getting in contact with the bottom, the bass are going to see it as 
some sort of feeding fish or in this case a feeding crawl or something and that's when you're gonna get hit a lot of guys also like to throw a crankbait on a slower gear ratio. I'm throwing it right now on this 6.3 to 1. Um, but a lot of guys will like to throw it on a 5.3 to 1 or even lower if you can find a lower, uh, lower gear ratio reel. Alright guys, last bait we're going to be talking about today from the top 10 baits for beginners is a Senko. I've got this one wacky rigged weightless on a spinning reel. This here, uh, a Senko, is by far one of the best baits, period, um, but especially for beginners because of the ease of use. You can throw these wacky rigged like I am now, weightless. You can throw these Texas rigged. Um, if you're new to bass fishing, you don't know how to Texas rig something, I'll put a link in the top right now so you can check that out. I uh, just noticed that I've been recording in narrow angle viewing mode this whole time. But the way you're going to want to fish this, if you're fishing it wacky rigged weightless like this, you're going to throw it out there and just let it sink for a random amount of time, a couple of seconds or so, um, and you're just going to twitch it randomly one time three times whatever if you're throwing it weighted texas rigged um, you're gonna basically throw it like you would a jig or any other creature or crawl soft plastic um, you're gonna throw it out let it sink to the bottom twitch it a couple of times maybe drag it along the bottom a little bit but right now i'm trying to um, just find some fish out here. I've been seeing a bunch of fish activity. Don't know if they're bass or not, but they're not hitting a crankbait or a spinnerbait. So maybe they want something a little bit more finessey like this. The great thing about a Senko wacky rigged like this is you can throw it in any part of the country and normally we'll be able to catch at least a couple of fish. Fish catching machine right here. For this week's bait giveaway question comment all i want you guys to do is comment down below any extra tips or helpful things regarding these baits that we talked about today spinner bait square bill or senko if you guys have anything to add as far as techniques on retrieves or anything like that or gear or anything like that please comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed and next week you might be the winner of some awesome baits. All right guys, well thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Sorry we couldn't get bit on any of these lures today, um, but I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Definitely check out some of my other videos and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a lot more fishing and a lot more filming while I'm down here in New Orleans. So hopefully we'll be able to catch a whole bunch of big fish and get them on camera for you. Stay hooked and we'll see you next time.